Greetings again. This is uh, Brian Fields, amateur radio call sign, W9CR. And uh, a bit unkempt here today. It is Sunday. And uh, I had a number of people ask me, hey, how do we know that your Bofang spectrum analysis that you did is correct? Can you show us a normal radio? So uh, I have this here. This is a, you zoom in there if you can see it. Uh, this is an HT. Uh, 750. Uh, it's on the W9CR repeater there, which is the same one we tested on before. And uh, this is 4 watts out, something like that, 5 watts out. I forget exactly what I have it aligned at. Um, and it has some pretty good filtering on it. I'm, I'm very happy with the HC1250s or 220. They're great little radios. So let me test this and um, I'll, sh I'll show you it's the same setup as we had before here. Let me just uh, tilt the camera here so you can see it. Um, same setup, same everything. I'll actually do an overview of it here in a second. So this is substantially the same setup we had before. You can see I have an adapter here. That's actually the same adapter we used because it is the same uh, male SMA that's present on the radio. Um, it goes in here to the watt meter. Watt meter set on 10 watts full scale right now. 30 dB attenuator. The output of 30 dB attenuator goes through uh, this particular uh, Sucoflex test cable right here. And this actually matches the serial number that's on there. It's, it's the proper one. Same as it was before. And that goes up into the spectrum analyzer. And the spectrum analyzer is just... Where is it? Right up there. And I'll put this video on there in a second. So, you go back over here. And uh, we'll take a look at the watt meter here okay I'm gonna go ahead and key this down and this is gonna be on 222.68 input our repeater and you can see it's just a skosh under 6 watts so our power calibration and everything before is, is about the same there. It's probably 5.8 watts or so on the watt meter. And again, it's 5% full scale here, so that's what we're at. Um, and uh, I'll show the picture here on the spectrum analyzer here so you can see that uh, it does not light up like a Christmas tree. Okay, here we are. We're set up. Um, I have the peak table turned on. And uh, we're going to see the primary here. Um, and then we'll see, again, we're going through a 30 dB pad. Um, we'll see the primary, and then we'll probably see a secondary and even a little uh, uh, third harmonic as well. So uh, let me key down here, and uh, we'll give it a second to do a couple sweeps here. So, and we can see here on the peak table. What it has on here is just simply the uh, 222.5. Again, we're 222.68, but the resolution here. Um, we have the second harmonic uh, on 440, and that's 55 dB down. Uh, again, going through this here, so you add uh, 20 dB to that, you're, you're perfectly fine. You can see we're well under our 46 dBm um, line there. Uh, by about 10 dB, which is great for a secondary harmonic. And you can see right here, here's a third harmonic. And, uh, you know, there's there's nothing there. Now, compare this to what we had before in the previous video. Um, let me unkey here so you can see all the harmonics go away. And you see that third harmonic just disappeared there. Um, and what it's finding right now is just random stuff. Uh, it's background. It's, it's going to look for a peak because that's what it's being uh, trained to do. Um, I just keyed down again there. You'll see it. There's your, your three peaks. So that's your fundamental, secondary, and uh, kind of right there is your third harmonic. And that's that's down in the noise. Um, we could play some games here, get it, you know, go in, see it a little bit deeper if we wanted to. But uh, for the purposes of what we're doing here, which is to verify part 90 acceptance uh, of the radio, it, it easily verifies. So. Anyways, uh, that's what we have here, and uh, that's uh, that's what it's supposed to look like. Uh, let me take this apart, and I just want to put the uh, the radio in here so you can see it. This is uh, one that's been modified for the handband, of course. So uh, let me uh, zoom out here, and I'll show you the radio. Um, 
Come on, get in there. There we go. So this is the radio. Uh, it's been modified for wideband upgraded. Um, and uh, that's, you know, no RF stuff was done to it, just simply the, the receiver. Um, and that's, uh, that's what it is. It's got an aftermarket case on it, but that's really about all it. I actually have an original Motorola battery on it too. So let me throw an antenna on it and I'll show you it definitely working. Let's see. May not key up here, but it definitely works. So anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. And uh, that's what your radio should aspire to look like on the Spectrum Analyzer.